I really appreciate this brother for tweeting this. It says, brothers, let Tory Lanez, Andrew Tate, and Kevin Samuels serve as lessons. Do you know how utterly foul you'll have to be if this many people rejoice in your arrest, incarceration, or death? These are not the men to pattern your lives after. This is not what you want. And he is referring to the destructive nature of toxic masculinity, as well as the egotistical and divisive rhetoric of the patriarchy. And he is specifically targeting this towards black men because because of generational trauma, black men have all but forgotten about black liberation and black empowerment and seem to be trying to find empowerment through the patriarchy. But the patriarchy was never established for black men, right? It's essentially a trickle down privilege that black men have that they gain from the overarching privilege of white men. And so the only way they can weaponize it is to weaponize it against those with less privilege than them. And that just happens to be us black women and black LGBTQIA people in proximity of them. So it's a destructive entity. And a lot of folks didn't understand this tweet. They just talked about, oh, how could you be happy that Kevin Samuels died? And how can you and that's not the point the point is the reaction instead of building community and people loving you they actually are relieved that you are put down and they don't have to be subjected to your misogyny anymore